Hey guys, it's Mogswamp here, back again with another terraforming tutorial. And today we're going to be working on a waterfall to go with our river and pond and cliffs. It just felt like the next natural thing to do here in our little terraforming world. So before we get started on the waterfall, I just need to sort of build up the cliffs where the waterfall is gonna go. And I'm gonna leave this little concave little section for for the waterfall to basically happen. And I'm also going to keep stepping the cliff inward a little bit so that the water has something to sort of bounce off of. You'll see what I mean in a second. But for now, I'm just gonna hop into a quick time lapse of me just building up this cliff a little bit so we have some place for our waterfall to go. Hopefully you enjoyed that little time lapse there. It was actually my first time using Minecraft Replay Mod and I had a lot of fun setting it up. Um, I kind of just laid down the riverbed here using the same techniques we talked about in the river video. And I built up this cliff a little bit with the same techniques we talked about in the cliff video. And the only thing that's a little different is sort of what I did here, which is something I've been experimenting with. More of like an earthy, uh, dirty sort of cliff, <laughs> if you will. When I say dirty, I don't mean like dirty as in not clean. I mean dirty as in there's lots of dirt <laughs> in this in this hill here. Uh, and I think that came out pretty cool and it complements our little area with all the granite and jungle wood there. Um, I, I think it's looking pretty great. But so the next step is just gonna be to fill in the water in this riverbed and uh, sort of just see how the water pours down and we can work from there. Honestly, I really haven't done a, uh, a waterfall in a long time. So I'm sort of learning as I'm showing you guys what I'm doing, if, if you know what I mean. So we'll sort of learn together. But I'm just gonna go ahead and start filling this in and then I'll catch up with you guys when that's done. All right guys, so I filled in all the water here and when I was doing so, I kind of stopped about, let's see here, one, two, three, four or so blocks from the edge. I didn't want to spread the water any further than that. And that way you get this nice effect where it all starts to cascade downwards. I did put a block here and there just to fill things in, like there's a source block right there. Um, and there's one, I think on this stair block. But other than that, it stops right at that line and that just allows the water to flow over nicely. And uh, then I just came through and I think I put a source block right here and a source block right here just because uh, those were dry spots that the water wasn't hitting. And I, I think this looks really, really cool. Um, this is most of our waterfall done here. So really, this is probably gonna be a little bit of a shorter video here. But uh, one of the things I wanted to experiment with a little bit is doing a little bit of foam in the waterfall down at the bottom here. Now, I've done this on my flat world a little bit and I can show you guys. As you can see, I've got this little dam structure here with the two mini waterfalls coming down. And uh, I just kind of used, let's see, what did I use here? 
uh, light blue glass, I think that is, normal clear glass, and then white glass. Uh, and a mix of the panes and the actual glass blocks. And I just found that from far enough away, it does sort of give a cool little foam effect. Like if we come all the way up here and take a look at it. Oh, ow. Uh, yeah, you get like a little bit of a nice splashing effect, but I've also seen people use cobwebs before. Um, I don't have a ton of access to cobwebs here on the flat world, so I opted not to do that. Um, but since we're in creative mode on the terraforming world, maybe we can make use of the cobwebs. So I'm just gonna experiment around a little bit. So guys, I've been playing with it quite a bit here and after just messing around uh, for a couple minutes, I'm just not quite sure I like the way that the cobwebs look. They're just like a little too much. I, if they were like a little bit more transparent, I think it might work, but I think, you know, I might've actually just been on the money with what I did in the flat world with just like a mix of glass panes and glass blocks. That looks a lot more subtle to me, especially when you get further back and it just provides a couple of, you know, varying colors to this whole look here that I think does a pretty good job. Whoops, I accidentally destroyed a source block there. But yeah, I was just saying, I think it does a pretty good job of looking like, you know, foam splashing up at the bottom of the waterfall here. Um, and maybe we can even put a few up at the top where it's just starting to spill over a little bit, you know, and just like get that white rapid effect a little bit sprinkled into here. So maybe we put like a white and a blue connected there. And yeah, I think I think it kind of works. It's, it's a little abstract for sure. I don't know, what do you guys think? I'd be interested to hear your thoughts in the comments. This is totally optional. It's just, I'm trying to find ways to spruce up the waterfall a little bit. Something else I thought might be worth a shot is like sprinkling in some of this glazed terracotta behind the water itself. Um, there are a lot of different colors of glazed terracotta that actually have a little bit of blue in them. So I'm wondering like if you kind of just hid one of these behind here, if it would help the waterfall at all. I think it might look kind of cool. I'm not really sure. I'm kind of just experimenting here. Maybe down at the bottom where it's like more dirt, we can put this brown terracotta which has a splash of blue in it. I think that actually might look kind of cool. Maybe even some light blue concrete. I don't know if that's too much. Let's just put a block down. I think it kind of works in a weird way. Like it's multiplying with the water in front of it to just give the water a little bit of texture here. Um, obviously, if the water wasn't there, I think this would look pretty weird, but I don't know. I'm just experimenting, guys. I kind of like how it looks. Um, it just catches your eye a little bit. I, I like this, uh, these two right here the most, the light blue and the blue glazed terracotta, especially the light blue, because it's got a lot of those white sort of tones in there. Um, yeah, I kind of like how it looks. And then the other one I really like is the brown terracotta to use just like where, where the dirt is piling up at the bottom here. Like this actually looks really cool. But yeah, guys, at the end of the day, it's your call if you wanna use these extra little bits of detail in here. I think it looks kinda cool, adds a little bit of extra texture to the waterfall that we didn't have before. Um, but other than that, I can't really think of much you could add to this waterfall. It's kinda straightforward, right? We use the tips from the riverbed video, the tips from the cliff video, and by putting those two things together, really all that's left to do is add the water and a little bit of detail here. I think one way we could make it a lot more interesting is by putting another level of the waterfall here, so have it go up again. I think multi-tiered waterfalls are always really cool. Another thing that we could do is maybe put a rock splitting it in two, so like maybe right here, a little outcropping that splits the waterfall into two on each side. But honestly, I'm just gonna keep this video nice and short and simple, um, and maybe in the future we can expand on the waterfall idea a little bit. Uh, but yeah, that's it for this one. Uh, make sure if you liked it to uh, just leave a like on the video. It really helps out with the YouTube algorithm and all that stuff. And uh, subscribe if you want to see some more of these videos. I'm going to keep making these. And uh, hopefully soon I'll be putting out the 100th episode of my Flat World as well. And that's going to have a lot of terraforming in it. So if you're interested in the terraforming, make sure to check that out when it drops. But uh, that's it for today. I hope you guys have a great, uh, great day. All right. See you later.